Hi, I'm Roger. And I'm Destin. For our project, we synthesized a polyaniline anti-static spray. We synthesized polyaniline, dispersed it in water, and atomized the dispersion using a store-bought spray bottle. We then tested the anti-static properties of the spray on balloons and clothing. So this is our polyaniline spray bottle, and we're about to spray this on a polyester shirt to reduce the static on it. For the balloon test, we demonstrated that a charged balloon without polyaniline spray would stick to a wall. We then tested another balloon which had been sprayed and demonstrated that it did not stick to the wall. This is the control of the water. This is the highly concentrated polyaniline solution. The polyaniline spray balloon did not stick to the wall, as charges from the clothing may have been dissipated by the presence of polyaniline. This could potentially be used on high altitude balloons to dissipate static charge in the atmosphere. For the clothing test, we took two polyester shirts and sprayed one of them with polyaniline. We then charged each shirt with a woolen sweater and measured the volume of the sound produced when we pulled them apart. The sound produced correlates to the amount of built up static between the sweater and the shirt. Good. There was almost no sound there, it was pretty good. <laughs> nice. Using a decibel meter on a phone, we measure an average maximum volume produced by each shirt. The average max volume over five trials for the spread shirts was 56 decibels compared to 68 decibels for the control. This suggests that some of the charge was indeed dissipated by the polyaniline. Future directions include testing the spray on different types of clothing and different materials, as well as testing different concentrations in order to minimize or eliminate static.